We're looking at uh, the parachute that just deployed uh, for the Dragon. That was pretty exciting. It was. Watching that happen there. Uh, wow. So this is, of course, parachuting down uh, to the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it's about the altitude now of a commercial airliner. It's under 50,000 feet. Wow, that's a great coming shot. Coming down. And so you can see it coming in. It's still white hot with uh, the first parachute coming up. I believe there are more parachutes that will be coming, I believe. Uh, and this is, of course, uh, a shot from Earth. There's a there plane There's that two. has a camera on it uh, that's able to look at it. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Go. And there's a ship waiting for it. We've been watching it to pick it up out of the Atlantic Ocean. And of course, this is a key part. The Dragon's been extremely successful uh, since its launch last Saturday, and this is sort of the last end of it. If they can, uh, if the re-entry can be completely safe, this is truly a breakthrough uh, in human transport up to space. Yeah, and oh, so there we go. There we go. Full deployment. Full deployment of the chutes. As it slows down, you can hear the applause there. I think that probably is the Johnson Space Center down at Houston. That we're listening to wow. where they're controlling it. Well, it's pretty dramatic. And apparently, there hasn't been like a capsule launch. Wow, uh, those parachutes like this are really amazing. Happening. 50 years, I think. This yeah, is the first time since we've had this kind of capsule. I remember as a boy watching Apollo and Gemini and things like that. Um, one of them I remember, I think it was Gemini, one of the Gemini capsules actually, something went wrong with the hatch and it filled with water and it sank. Okay, well, and let's the, the, astronaut got, the astronaut got out, so. That's great. It's, gonna it's pretty spectacular, though. It's beautiful, isn't it? To descend, it's going to continue to slow And the question down. really is, is it, are we going to have this much more routinely now? Are we well, gonna, yeah, sure. You know, as a matter of routine. And the, uh, the big issue here is actually, to some extent, the United States versus Russia, because for some time, we've not been able to launch any people into space from U.S. soil. Yeah. We've been, U.S. astronauts have been using Russian launch vehicles. Well, in fact, I think that uh, the U.S. still rented a, a, a couple seats on the next uh, shuttle launch from Russia because they weren't totally sure if this was going to wind up working out because it's, it's been uh, SpaceX and Boeing and, of course, SpaceX sort of beating Boeing to this kind of punch. But still, this is a critical moment uh, when it re-enters and then lands uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, we're going to bring him now Matthew Bloxham, our colleague from Bloomberg Intelligence over in London. Matthew, we're watching these shots, very dramatic shots, as it's about to touch down in the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like it's flawless. Uh, do you have any information about just how successful this has been so far? Um, yeah, it, it does look um, pr pretty clean, doesn't it? Um, so I, I think you know, that kind of parachute deployment was the kind of last real big issue you'd like to think from here you know getting it uh, into the sea and picking it up should be fairly routine for them i guess beyond that what's going to be quite critical uh, is the analytics and data they get from uh, the human dummy that, that that's uh, been uh, the passenger which they've called ripley uh, after the kind of lead character in the alien uh, film series so i think if the information they get back from the sensors they've put on that dummy check out then it will be all systems go to kind of move ahead with these next stages so the uh, um, the kind of abort test um, in June and then a second mission with real astronauts in July. Wow. Okay. It's looking pretty it's good. inside of 1,500 meters now, about to touch down in the Atlantic Ocean. It's 200 nautical miles off the coast of Florida, uh, which, as I understand, they've chosen so they can relaunch it fairly readily. That's incredible. And, of course, uh, it re-entered the atmosphere. You had four parachutes uh, deployed so far. It looks so good. You're looking at a camera uh, from Earth there. Um, Matthew, where's Boeing in relation to this right now? So they're a, a month or so behind. So their plan is to run a similar mission to what we've been seeing this week with SpaceX in April. Uh, and then uh, a month or two after that, perhaps in May, they would do their own abort test. There it is. Uh, there we go. Touch us down right there. Down. there. Can see the down. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You That's hear great. the hearing as well. You hear the cheering. Well, yeah, those are crafts from the main uh, vessel that are going out. I'm sure to collect the parachutes and it was on time, on schedule. That was pretty impressive, right? On time, on schedule. It seems like at least we know from now we're still waiting, as we were talking about, to get the sensors back from Ripley, which is a dummy inside the, the spacecraft. But nonetheless, it feels like a very successful uh, seven days for the Dragon. Certainly looks like it.